What is going on guys? This is Chad. Thank you guys for watching another Is That Chad Auto Reviews video. Today we're taking a look at the 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. Now this is going to be the SC trim level, which is going to be the second level. So I'm going to be showing you guys all the features that you add on this level, as well as showing you guys the interior, taking you for a test drive, and just giving you my overall thoughts and opinions on this car. If you want to see the other trim levels from this car, definitely go ahead and check out my uh, channel. I've done several of these trim levels. I've also done several other cars such as CRV, the uh, CX-5, the um, Mitsubishi Out Eclipse Cross. So several other cars. Make sure you check out my channel for all that information. So let's go ahead and jump into this car though. Start off with saying once again, this is the 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport in the SC trim level, that second level. Now, this car is going to have the four cylinder motor. It's a two, two liter dual overhead cam four cylinder. It's going to give you 24 miles per gallon in the city, 30 on the highway, giving you a combined 27 miles per gallon. And it's paired with the CVT transmission, the continuously variable transmission which makes this car drive incredibly smooth. If you guys haven't driven one, definitely go to your dealership and do that. Otherwise, just go ahead and watch till the end of this video and um, take a ride with me. So we're gonna start at the front of the car, showing you guys the features on here. The car does have halogen headlights, but they are gonna be in this projector housing. So uh, definitely better light output. Another thing, if you look down here at the bottom, you do have the fog lights down here. And then right to the right of that is going to be where your LED daytime running light is. So really, really bright. Walk around here. Now, just like on the ES trim level, you're going to have the turn signal indicator in the mirror. The only addition is on this one, the mirrors fold in and out whenever you lock and unlock the car. So a really nice feature for the money for sure. Next thing you're going to notice is you have the smart entry system. So you can push this button to lock and unlock the car. And then of course it has the push button start as well. Just a real quick interior glimpse. And we'll come back to the inside. Before, I actually want to tell you guys about this warranty that the car comes with. Let's see if I can get my camera to zoom in here. So all new Mitsubishis. Well, waiting patiently. There we go. All new Mitsubishis are going to come with a 10 year 100,000 mile power chain warranty, 5 year 60,000 bumper to bumper, 7 year 100,000 protection on the paint, and then a 5 year unlimited mileage warranty on the, um, for, sorry, for roadside assistance. So you can cancel your AAA, you don't need it anymore, at least for the first 5 years. So the back seat, once again, I'm going to come back to the back seat. Before I do, I want to show you guys the back of the car though. Now something while I'm back here, let me show you guys. This car is really dirty, but you can see here, I mean, this is like a little dry carbon fiber finish. Looks really, really good. It's really subtle, but it looks nice, really nice. Let me show you guys this back space. So you notice you have tons of space in this car. Great storage opportunities. You do get this uh, cover here as well that can be removed. This isn't quite as nice as a cover as I've seen from some other makes and models, such as the CRV. Um, that has the best one, I'd say. This isn't quite as nice as that, but it's still really nice that they offer it for you and give that to you. Spare tire down there, of course. It's full size diameter, but it is a smaller width, so it is still temporary. Now, speaking of tires, as I walk to this back seat here. These are going to be alloy wheels. They're going to be size 18, so you get really nice 18 inch alloys. They look really good on the car too. So go ahead and coming to the back of the car. You're going to have two interior options. You either have option A, which is going to be this beige interior, which looks really, really nice. I actually really like it. Second option is going to be the black interior with the red inserts in there. And once again, take a look through my channel and you'll see what I'm talking about there. So now that I've seated, sat inside of the back seat here, you can notice with the, back, with the front seat scooted all the way back, my knees are barely touching the back of the seat here. But overall, I'd have to say it's a very comfortable, uh, very comfortable seating position. 
excuse me. Armrest here, of course, with cup holders, really nice. <coughs> now let's see if these seats recline at all. They do not. There is no seat recline. You can fold the seat down flat, which is something I'm gonna show you guys now, but you cannot recline them. Another thing I noticed back here, it's a slight disappointment, is there's no air vents for the back seat occupants. You can see here, it is completely flat. There is no hump there. So really nice there. Go ahead and climb into the front seat of the car. Show you guys around first. Once again, if you guys do like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. If you guys see something that I've missed, please go ahead and make sure you drop a comment. Let me know. And if you have one, please drop a comment. Let us know what you think about it, what your impressions are, and how ownership has been for you so far. Let's try to make this as much of a community page as possible where we can all kind of share our experiences together and learn from each other. I learn from you guys just as much through the comments as I do through reading about this car sometimes. So please make sure you drop a comment for me um, so I can look over it. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the basics of the car. Of course the car has things such as Bluetooth, power windows, power door locks, cruise control. All of that kind of stuff is standard on this car. Now some of the other things that the car has that I find are really nice are going to be things such as the push button start. Um, this car also has the blind spot information system. So you have the lights and the mirrors there that will light up orange for you if somebody is in the blind spot. Nice addition to that is going to be whenever there is somebody in the blind spot and you turn your turn signal on. It'll actually beep at you to alert you that there's somebody there as well. So that's a really nice feature. Another couple other little things I really like is how simple it is, guys. Look at how simple the steering wheel is. There's not a lot going on. It's not overcrowded. It's all very nicely laid out. Really, really like that. Now, reshifting our focus over here to the radio, you're going to notice this is going to be this is going to be a touchscreen radio, which is really nice. You do have just this one hard button here. There's going to be a knob for your volume as well as to turn the radio on and off. Other than that, you do have these touchscreen buttons over here that will redirect you to a couple different things. You know, home, your apps, which is going to be like your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wait, yeah, guys, that's right. I said it right. This car has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you're not familiar with those features, go ahead and click the link right there. Click the link right here, and I will, I'll have a link there for how to work the Apple Car Planned Android Auto. It's a great feature. Essentially what it does is it brings all of your phone functionality up here to the screen. So things such as your navigation, your texting, um, if you have the MLB app, I mean, some of those types of things are going to be able to show up on your screen. Make sure you give that video a look if you're interested in knowing more about that. Another really cool thing that you notice is this really nice carbon fiber finish. It's like a dry carbon type of finish. It looks really, really sharp on here, especially when the sun's hitting it like this. Really love that. Now, going down here. You're going to notice you do have a couple things. You have your automatic climate control. You can see it is to the turn dial, but you can go down here for automatic. You also have heated seats, of course. You have one for the driver and the passenger. Um, let's see. Of course, you have things such as uh, the sport mode as well. So if you want a little bit quicker acceleration, you go ahead and select that mode, and um, it'll go into that. No. I kind of touched on it a second ago, but these seats, I really like these seats. These are actually, um, I think my favorite option in the seats, just because the other option is going to be a black interior with like red in here where the dark gray color is kind of a weird combo for every color option, but this beige goes really, really nicely. But all right, guys, that is pretty much going to end it for this video. If you guys do have any other questions at all, please make sure you drop a comment. Let me know that question or that comment. Please make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. And uh, let me know what I can do. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching another Is That Chat Honda Reviews video. I will see you guys soon.